Hello, this is Alicia with the Desert Wind, back working on our armor here. Um, I just kind of want to go over a few steps here with you. This is something I'm doing for mine, mainly because I want the look of mine more so than the armor points. So you may need to do different changes on this. I've taken my pieces, and this should normally be done before you dye it, or stain it, or whatever you're going to do to it. Unfortunately, I did not know that at the time I started this, and thought I needed to dye it first. Silly me. But you do your bowl with water. If it has already been dyed, and you make the same mistake I do, I recommend doing a metal bowl. This way, if the dye leaks out, which it does a little bit, um, it's not going to stain the inside of your bowl. So, I've taken water. I have pieces in there soaking. Uh, you only want to let it soak for about 5 to 10 minutes, so I normally set a timer. So I have pieces soaking. Once the timer goes off, chicken wire works well if you have it. I don't, so another thing is to use uh, cooling wraps for baking. Because then if you don't need it for drying out your leather, you can always bake cookies, which is also another good thing to do. So I've taken pieces of leather and I put it on my drying rack and then I put another piece on top. This is to help make it flat. Another thing you can do to help harden it would be you soak it, you set your oven to 175, and then you put it on a baking tray. You pile them up on there, however they're to go, and you put them in the oven. Uh, you want to kind of test it out. This experience will tell you more about how long and how thick the uh, leather is to begin with will help determine how long. For pieces this small, um, where it's not cut from a hugely thick piece of leather, I would say about mm, five minutes, maybe going up to ten. But I'd be checking it pretty much every minute after five just to kind of see how it is and if it's the right hardness or not. Because I'm not trying to get points, I'm not trying to harden it for getting points. I just want it to lay flat. This is more important. And when you're hardening it, there is the slight chance that it may curl or bend in a way that you don't want. So I really wouldn't recommend it for something like this if you want them to be flat. Um, now the reason you do this on cookie sheets or on chicken wire as opposed to just putting it on cookie sheets and, and having it, you know, flattened and you can use pressure that way is because they're wet. You want to let the water get out of them, but you want to try and, you want to help let them dry because you don't want them becoming mildewed or anything. And you want, which means you need air getting to it. So this is kind of the best way of doing that. And we'll be back with more tips, tricks, and steps in some of the later videos.